We're in the gate. And they're off in the Santa Anita Derby and Stronghold gets the first call. EJ won the cup. Imagination broke beautifully in between them and puts his head in front. Now Tapolo rushes up along the inside to engage Imagination. And just behind them, Winstock fifth through the opening furlong. Tasudo outside Curlin's Chaos. McVeigh three wide and last. Tapolo will be the pace setter. Opens up two on Imagination second. EJ won the cup in the center of the track. Between rivals, Stronghold and Curlin's Chaos is down at the rail. Winstock has five lengths to make up. McVeigh is next. Having a little bit of a difficult time is McVeigh. And another two back to Tasudo. They move on to the back stretch and it's Tapolo and Umberto Rispoli setting the tempo. Imagination gliding up to him in second and EJ won the cup is three wide in third. Another three back to Stronghold who's patiently handled fourth, three and a half lengths off the pace at this stage. Winstock is fifth past the half mile pole. Curlin's chaos down at the rail. The two trailers are Tesudo and McVeigh. Heading to the 3 8 pole, Tapolo, Imagination yet to be called on a length and a half back second. Stronghold awaiting racing room. He's just inside. EJ won the cup. Then Curlin's Chaos, Winstock, another three to Tesudo and McVeigh. Imagination making his move past the quarter pole. EJ won the cup, running a good race on the outside. Tapolo is down at the rail and Stronghold won from the outside. A driving finish. Stronghold bursts through between horses and is up to take the lead at the furlong pole. Imagination trying the match strides with him and EJ won the cup in third. It's Imagination and Stronghold nose and nose in the Santa Anita Derby. Stronghold chest in front and Stronghold prevails under Antonio Fresu, who's jubilant understandably in this great moment, defeating Imagination. EJ won the cup was third. In the winner's circle is Stronghold, a three-year-old bay colt by Ghost Zapper out of Spectator. Owned by Rick and Sharon Waller. Trained by Phil D'Amato. And perfectly ridden by Antonio Fresu. Congratulations, Antonio Fresu, on your first grade one victory here in the Santa Anita Derby. Stronghold, bred in Kentucky by Eric and Sharon Waller. The running time, one minute, 49. 0.98 seconds. Directing your attention to the winner's circle. Making the trophy presentation to the connections of Stronghold, Rick and Sharon Waller, Phil D'Amato, and Antonio Fresu is Mr. Aiden Butler, president of FIRST. Mr. Butler is joined in the winner's circle with co-presenter Bo Derrick, who needs no introduction, famous actress, 
model, humanitarian, and a tremendous ambassador for the sport of kings, horse racing. Aiden Butler and Bo Derrick make the presentation for the grade one Santa Anita Derby. Ladies and gentlemen, we direct your attention to the winner's circle. Here's Millie Ball. Thank you very much, Frank, and just a lot of emotions going on here with Stronghold winning the Grade 1 Santa Anita Derby. I'll start with Antonio Presti because this is your first Grade 1, Antonio. Yeah, it's my first Grade 1 in, uh, in America, and uh, thanks to these amazing people, the, they gave me this opportunity to ride this uh, fantastic horse, you know. He proved to be a good horse last time. I love the way Phil D'Amato was training him in the last couple of works and the horse was getting so much confidence, you know, and uh, he was getting so much, like, you know, so much better than before. And, uh, I mean, today he proved to be a very good horse. Still, when he hit the front, he doesn't want to stay alone, you know, so he was waiting for some company, but uh, he got the job done. I, and, uh, you know, I want to dedicate this for uh, my friend that uh, passed away the other day. And uh, I felt like he was there with me today. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Stefano Kerki was an amazing guy. And uh, I want to dedicate this to him. And we could see the rapport you have with this horse as you threw your arms around his neck coming into the winner's circle. Oh, I, you know, I, I love this horse. Uh, since uh, the first day I, I sat on him. And uh, like I say, I see... All the time that I've been breezing him and I've been riding him in the race, I see his improvement uh, day by day, you know. And uh, to be honest, today I was I was very very confident uh, that he could uh, he, he could do it. So and uh, and he did it. So fair play to this horse is uh, it's just amazing. Well, congratulations to you, the Italians, really wiping the card today. <laughs> I'll let you go because I know you ride the next race. But I wanted to Thank chat you. with you, Sharon, and uh, Rick. To, to actually breed as well as own this horse, that has to just feel tremendous. Yes, it does. And um, I'm so happy that we have Stronghold. And uh, he's been uh, uh, unique in so many ways. Uh, he lays down a lot in the, the barn, in his stall. And uh, he's resting for the big race. <laughs> there you go. Rick, uh, when I asked Phil what his best attribute was that got him this far, Phil said his determination. He didn't even hesitate. We got to see that again today. Just tell us your thoughts as you watched him come down the stretch. Well, I, I was watching the fractional times of the race, and I knew they were going pretty quick up front, and I knew we were sitting back stalking. So I felt pretty good that those horses might want to come back, although that four horse was very strong and continued on. But we did, uh, a stronghold likes to target. He, he used that four horse as his target and went by him when it counted. So, yeah. Wish you the very best of luck moving forward, of course, with the Kentucky Derby in the conversation now and the Triple Crown. Well, congratulations to you both, to Antonio Fresu and to Phil D'Amato. But most importantly, to Stronghold, the winner of the Grade 1 Santa Anita Derby.